This is Sarah Tenney with Utah Physical Therapy. I'm here to show you today how we're making our um, homemade medical grade mask. So it will protect you when you have to be within that six feet distance. So during this COVID pandemic, I wanna show you how to make um, at least a protective barrier for you and your patients so that we can make sure that we can still take care of our patients that are healthy. So all of my fabric, my favorite length is eight by nine. So eight by nine inches on my muslin, eight by nine inches on my 100% cotton fabric. Any fabric pattern will do. So this is my medical grade mask. It has elastics for easy on and easy off. And then it has a wire up here that I can pinch around my nose. You can either use floral wire or you can use um, the pipe cleaner. So if you're doing the floral wire, I found that you really don't need anything more than four inches, okay? So I'm just cutting these right at four inches. And then I'm just saving those in a bowl for me to use later. Um, the pipe cleaner, the fastest and easiest way is just to fold it in half. Um, the six inches isn't gonna matter. It's pretty soft and flexible. You do need a double fold so that it, it maps across your nose better. The elastic's seven and a half inches on the elastic. My favorite elastic for my medical ones is a quarter inch cotton swimwear elastic. It's really hard to find anything quarter inch these days. So I'm going to show you how to do it with ties and that's just from double fold bias tape. So here on my serger, I've got set up um, an eight by nine and you can tell that oftentimes they don't match perfectly. My kids are cutting them. Um, so that's fine. The beauty of the serger is it cuts off what I don't like. So we'll just finish this one off. And on the medical ones, you're only going to sew one side. Okay? Okay, so now let's go to the ironing board and make a nice crisp edge. This is now the bottom of my mask. Now I'm gonna go back over to my serger and we're gonna serge the top half. Again, making it nice and square. Cutting off what I don't need. Okay. And if I can, I knot it up by just pulling on the loose thread and it knots. It knots it for me. And now I'm ready to go to my sewing machine. Okay, on my sewing machine, this is where I'm going to start off with my floral wire. So I just tuck it right in on the inside of the seam. I'm going down to a two length stitch. And I'm gonna just create this seam. And I'm just keeping that tucked up inside of there so I don't hit it with my needle. Now I just have to find my wire and the edge and I just find the edge by finding a bend. It's easier for me to sew it if I have a pattern to go against because then I can memorize where it's at. So it's right there on the edge of that orange diamond. And I'm gonna go about a quarter of an inch on the inside of it and then a quarter of an inch on the outside of it. So I'm gonna go up to two and a half on my stitch length and I'm gonna start it with my hand and I'm just gonna go back and forth and I'm going right over top of it, and this is securing it in place. The other reason I'm doing this is because, and I'm just slowly moving down to my right. And the reason I'm doing this is because not only does it secure it, but it also creates this nice thick barrier on the fabric so that the end of the wire doesn't poke through, because it will. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now I can feel that it's in there. Okay, now we do the fun part. This is that double fold bias tape and I'm gonna have it be about an inch coming over the edge. All right, so I'm gonna sew that into place. I'm gonna go back down to a two length on my stitch. Now, 
the difference in my mask has been completed. Now I have done the hardest part of that whole project, okay? Okay, let's go back over to the ironing board and we're gonna do the pleats and finish off the mask. We're gonna make three pleats. I have found this three pleat method to be the most comfortable. Don't stress out if some pleats are bigger than others. It's not a big deal. Just as long as you've got three pleats in there, okay? And then with your hot iron, you're gonna steam that. Steam that down, pull out my pins as I go. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna go back over to the sewing machine. Okay, we're gonna stitch this down. So I'm just gonna grab two orange ties that match. Again, these are 32 inches in length. So just find the halfway point and I'm putting it there about halfway through my mask. And then you'll want to just pin it. And then the end, you fold it down to finish. And you want to back stitch this. And then as I get down to the hair to the end, I'm just gonna finish off like I did the other one, opening it up and folding it in. Okay. On average, they're taking us about 15 to 20 minutes per mask. And then you've got your finished mask. And you just fold it and then you just tie it up over and it works great. And then again, for our clinic, I'm just, um, if you're keeping these and you're giving some out to your other clinics, I just write UPT on it for our, our initials. And then I'm gonna say this is a medium mask. And then we'll wash these like I discussed before in my other video with a quarter cup bleach in our sanitary wash and then we use antimicrobial dry with some dryer bouncing balls. And then we only handle these with clean gloves, a mask, and that we washed our hands before we put on our gloves. So we only handle these in a very clean environment. So this is what we're using until we can get uh, masks um, available from manufacturers. Right now we can't. So this is a good alternative in order to keep your clinic doors open and be able to keep treating your patients. Good luck out there and keep help helping each other out. Bye for now.